first and foremost, let us give all praises and all glory unto the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Akakwadash. The bonus of the apostles and the elders that surely do rule well a great stone. Peace and salutation to the sincere Akim or the pushing his gospel in sincerity and truth. Say shalom to the humble and sincere sister and as well. Barakalam from the JMS Shrant Camp. To come over this lesson entitled, But I see another law in my members. Right? And, you know, these scriptures I put, managed to pull together is really sums up where it is that we going through in this flesh. You know, in the scriptures say, um, for the angels that kept not their first estate, yet reserved um, unto chains of everlasting darkness unto the judgment of the great day. You need to understand that you under two prisons and you in two levels of jail. And the first jail, you know, is this kingdom, Job 9 and 24, the is given into the hands of the wicked. When the right, when the wicked um, bed rule, you know, the, the, the um, people mourn, right? There's a hardcore bondage where we were made to serve, you know, all the suffering and, and um, distress all people went through underneath the hands of, of Esau, Edom, Esau, called white man, underneath the devil. But at the same time, this fleshly body is a prison in itself. These are the chains of everlasting darkness. Right? This is the true bondage. Look at look at the functioning of these bodies. You know, and I'll break it up into two parts. Look at it on a firstly on a spiritual level. These bodies were programmed to be wicked. You understand? And that is sure all things are really under the, the dominion and rulership of Yahweh Hashem Yosha because the Lord created these bodies with the intent of it being wicked. Being going against the righteous path. These bodies were created to serve um, to serve wickedness. And it's always bring up these points. Food, right? As the scriptures say, food was made for the meats were made for the belly, right? Food was made for you to eat. Yeah, right? The, the flesh of beasts was made to be consumed. But we understand that through the law, there are clean beasts and there are unclean beasts. And your spirit has this discernment. But the flesh now, the flesh has no discernment between clean meat and unclean meat your taste buds are not aligned to the law whatever tastes good your body will 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 crave it your body has the ability to digest pork it has the ability to digest shellfish it has the ability to digest um, fish without scale it has the ability to digest any manner of bird your body has the ability to digest protein. It has the ability to digest insects. Four-footed beasts. Your body has this ability. You understand? People eat shark. People eat pork. People eat crab. People eat gona and all manner of wild meat and insects and all these things, cause it tastes good. You understand? It tastes good. But they're not thinking spiritually. Right? Because their ways are aligned to the flesh, to the prison. Right? They have become slaves. You understand? They have become, they have conformed to the ways of, of Esau Edom, to the ways of this flesh. They seek to pleasure the flesh. You understand? They have aligned their ways to it. When this flesh sees a woman, you understand? It sees reproduction, the ability to carry on my line. It doesn't see a brother's wife. You understand? 
it doesn't see a woman that is exposed it just sees a womb somewhere I could put my seed to reproduce you understand it has no discernment between right um, righteous and unrighteous sexual acts right man on man on man and woman on woman and your 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 flesh doesn't think abominable you understand your flesh doesn't think unlawful sexual acts your flesh doesn't think vile affection all it sees is pleasure all these people see is, is pleasure that's all they do they they they, they feed your flesh and then you look at it on a physical level as well. This flesh is bound to this earth. This body needs oxygen. Right? You need to be breathing constantly. You need to eat. You need to drink water. And you need to sleep. It needs to recharge. You understand? You can't, you can't escape this, this planet. You understand? You can't fly up to the heavens or go to the deepest depths. Your body doesn't have the ability. This flesh and bones does not have the ability. You understand? Look at the angels. Look at the hosts of heaven. They have the ability to exist in the heavenly kingdom on the earth. In, in any way in the universe. They could access different planes Right? They could exist in the physical plane, they could exist in the spiritual plane, right? They could be around us and we don't have the ability to see them. They don't have to breed, you understand? They don't have to eat or drink. They don't have to reproduce. They don't need suits to go into space. You know, oxygen suits and they don't need that. But these bodies are dependent on that. Right? They don't feel cold. You know, they could stand on the sun, they wouldn't get burnt. They don't feel pain. These bodies feel pain. They don't feel fear, but these terrestrial bodies, these prisons, feel fear. You understand? So on all levels, this flesh is bound. You understand? It's limited. It's weak. You understand? It has no strength in the flesh. Even the you could train to show how, how, how weak this body is. You could train your whole life. You understand? Your entire life you could train and lift weights and try to become as strong as possible. And your strength in this fleshly body wouldn't even be able to match up against a, a, a regular lioness. You understand? Even my, even my dormant lion in a zoo that does do nothing but sleep all day because they are nothing to hunt or whatever. A dormant lion could easily tear you up. Sp and you could spend your whole lifetime training. This is the weakness of this body. You understand? So we are going to take the book of Romans 7.23. It say, but I see, outside of verse 22, it say, For I delight in the law of Yahweh after the inward man. So he delights in the law of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai after the inward man. So his spirit desires to please the Musa. His spirit desires to be, to cleave unto the Lord. Verse 23, but I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my members O wretched man that I am who shall deliver me from the body of this death who shall deliver me from these chains of everlasting darkness who shall deliver me from this prison you see he see another law in. so it are two laws you understand he see another law and the law that governs this flesh is not the law that, so, that, is, so, that governs the spirit. You understand? 
the law that governs this flesh is solely based upon two things survival and pleasure that is that is the two things that sums up this flesh survival you had to eat it no matter what food you put into your body wherever meat wherever it is as long as it's food it could be digested you understand it needs your body needs water your body needs oxygen if you need to reproduce it doesn't matter who wife it is or who she is supposed to as my chance at reproducing and carrying on my line you understand and for pleasure hey uh, as the scriptures you know scriptures say not to lie with mankind not to uh, mar the corners of your head not to, to, to make any grieving um, not to print any marks upon you and all these things you understand not to be in idolatry not to run after the things of this world to celebrate the holidays and all these things but the flesh will say what no this brings me pleasure and if it brings me pleasure that means that it's good so therefore i will indulge in it and it's simple as that this flesh moves according to pleasure and according to survival it is not governed by the law statutes and commandments that is the reason for why a new covenant is needed as the scriptures say you know he showed them the law statutes and commandments and they followed not after it because it was not placed within their inward parts right it was not placed within their minds it was a challenge to keep the law it didn't come freely it didn't come in liberty you understand this flesh acts contrary to the righteous part you know that's why it not never navigate through life using emotion but always navigate using the scriptures because the scriptures doesn't deal with emotions it deals with truth and truth truth is not about happiness truth is not about sadness truth is truth wisdom is wisdom you understand it might be sweet noise to some and painful to others but truth will always be true and that's how you are to navigate um in in this life that way you had to use but never trust in this flesh never 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 trust in your emotions because this flesh is corruptible is weak in the sun verse 23 it said but i see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind so this 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 law you understand the law that is within his flesh is warring against the law that is within his spirit you understand the law that is within his spirit is telling him to keep the sabbath you understand to keep the passover to keep all the holy days right this law is telling him to tell about what what certain meat to eat and not to eat who to lie with and who not to lie with not to commit adultery you know to honor father and mother right these laws is showing him certain things on what to keep but how to please your bashim your shy and the law that is within his mind is receiving friction you understand opposition from the law that is within his flesh the law that is within his flesh is telling him hey commit adultery hey be a fornicator hey steal murder right when you in you know some brethren you know going through financial problems whatever the case is the law in your spirit is telling you not to steal and not to go and receive money true true wicked acts but the flesh is telling you what you had to survive you had to do whatever it takes you understand to, to get it back and then there with this friction come there with the war comes you understand and it's all up to you and it's all up to which law you want to keep will you keep the law of your abashim or shai or would you keep the law of your members 
would you keep below of this flesh? The Romans 7 verse um, 14 it says for we know that the law is spiritual but I am carnal sold under sin. So he's saying that the law is spiritual, the law is righteous, the law is perfect. But we are the imperfections sold under sin because of the flesh that we are in. Right? The flesh that desires to do wicked things. We are trapped within this body, forced to commit these acts. Right? And the scripture here will prove it. Verse 15, for that which I do, I allow not. For what I would that I do not, but what I hate that I do. I want to make a video every day. I want to do the works every week. I want to study every day. You understand? And, it, and, and the, the, the fire that I feel to do these things, I do not. Everything to do in this truth always comes with friction. Because the law of your members is, is not about making videos, making epistles, or doing the works. It doesn't care. You understand? Why make a video when you could lie down and watch TikTok for hours and receive those dopamine releases? You understand? Receive those spikes in dopamine, those feel-good hormones. Why, why make a video? You understand? And this is in nature the flesh. Verse 16 is saved. Then I do that which I would not. I consent unto the law that it is good. Now then it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. For I know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. He said that in his flesh dwelleth no good thing. And this is a faithful and a tr truthful saying. In your flesh dwells no good thing. And it, always go, it all goes back to what law the flesh is under. It is not under the law of the spirit. It is under the law of carnality. You understand? Survival and pleasure. That is all your flesh is concerned about. You understand? Nothing more. Your flesh does not care about serving the Lord. You know? That is why the new flesh that we will receive, those new celestial immortal bodies, will be a true reflection of our spirits. You understand? Because these bodies are not, this is not your true form. Man. These bodies are not a reflection of your spirit. Because as, as you know, if it was up to us, we would always serve the Lord. Now I say, he subject them to vanity. He subject them to vanity. The Lord forced this upon us. You understand? But if it was up to us, when we go in the spirit realm, you think you're rebelling against the Lord? No. You serve your Bashem Yoshai. You understand but these bodies are not a reflection of that spirit you understand these bodies don't reflect who you are who you truly are it doesn't is this is a jail this is prison these bodies are prisons but those new celestial bodies it wouldn't be a prison it would it would be a a, a, a home you understand for your spirit and with those bodies, you will be able to, to, to show your, your true self, basically. You understand? You know, and it's still like, I for going off topic, but it it, 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 it plain because with those celestial bodies, you wouldn't be bound. Those bodies will feel, you will be in your right mind. You understand? You would be in your right mind. You would be you. Right? Look, look at the tutors of our people. The, the wickedest nigga that you know. In all reality, when he goes into the... When he dies and he goes back into this 
to the spiritual kingdom. He is a servant of Yahweh Hashem Yahshayim. You understand? He only knows what is truth and he serves he serve the Lord. You understand? But when he comes down on this earth now, he's subject to vanity. He gets subjected. You understand? He goes in these chains. And it's just a matter of strength. Who the Lord gives his strength to. So it have some of us that have the ability through Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, through his mercy, that, that that light within us, right? which is Yahweh Shai, that light will be able to shine and overcome the darkness which is this flesh. But some of the, the majority of Israel have not um, received that blessing, have not received that strength, so they're still in darkness. But the rest of us, Lord willing, we be of the elect. We have received that strength that has that is almost as if you know the light the light pouring out of the darkness right that even in these chains even in these prisons we still fighting to please our Bashem Yahushai you understand but in those celestial bodies it wouldn't be no friction it will be you it will be your true form you understand Okay, you see here in verse 18, it says, For the will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good, I find it not. Because, hey, you might want to make a video. You might want to do three videos, you know. Or study, or whatever, whatever it is you want to do to grow. And to serve the Lord. And the will is there, you, know? you understand? The fire is there. You know? But the body now, this flesh is like is, is, is a jail. You understand? It blowing out our flame. Right? So now, you know, and in that celestial body, it wouldn't have a friction. You understand? It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be no water to, 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 to serve your Bashim Yosha and to keep the law, statutes and commandments. Because your spirit wouldn't be trapped. You understand? It would be free, boy. You know, and I'm rumbling because I don't really have the words to, to, to to bring it across you understand i really do what he would say bring it across but that what the scriptures say no eye had seen no air heard no mind you know could really think about the, the, the glory of the kingdom of heaven because they it, it, it will be a wonderful thing you understand but you still are careful going off topic um In Matthew 26 verse 41 It says watch and pray That she enter not into temptation The spirit indeed is willing But what? But the flesh is weak So the spirit is willing And that goes back to what I was saying The wickedest nigga you know In the kingdom of heaven he is a servant of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. All Israel. You understand? All people. You understand? All things with life. Serve Yahweh Shem Yahushai. All things with life. All man. But we are subject now. Bound on this earth. Bound in these bodies. You understand? The spirit is willing because the spirit, the Lord created us to serve him. Man was made to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Right? So that is within us. But what? The flesh is weak. The chains that these, the Lord has put us in. You understand? It, 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 it bounds us. You understand? And it, it stops us from... From... from um, Reaching out true potential almost. You understand? It bounds you. Because scripture says in Psalms 82, you know, ye are gods. Right? Ye are gods. And you understand? Israel, we are, we are gods among men. We are gods upon the earth. But you look at Israel today. Do, do we look like gods? Does Israel have any characteristics of God, of a God? No. We're weak. You understand? 
Israel is weak. Israel is, 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 is corruptible. Israel is unrighteous. Israel are worse. You know, Israel are on the same level as the Gentiles. On a physical level, spiritual level, everything. You understand? Running after dumb idols. You understand? So, so this flesh, we, we show you that the flesh is weak. It's showing you that the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, you understand, have put us into, into, into chains. You understand? Into bondage. Limited our power. You understand? The Lord has limited the power of Israel. Hey, ye prince of the power, right? We are the princes of power, right? Is to the throne. But our power has been limited in a significant level. You understand? But say, watch and pray that she enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but what? The flesh is weak. The flesh is weak. So where is it? Where is it that you are to cast your, your time upon? The spirit. The fruits of the spirit. You understand that why you, you are to constantly be abounding and meditating in the spirit. Not in the flesh. Because in the flesh what dwelleth? No good thing. That why the scriptures say. Um, you know and. They show you the flesh. The flesh not just weak in a spiritual level, it's a physical level too. This this is the slums that we that our spirit is residing in right now. Isaiah 40 verse 30, it says, Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. So the scriptures say the youths shall faint and be weary. Right? Now we know the strongest point of a male and a female's life is when they are young. You understand? That is your most vibrant. That is when you have the most energy. That is when your muscles and your bones are the strongest. You understand? That is when your, your, your senses are, are, are at its... Um, most heightened state it will ever be right and your vision and your hearing and all these things but see here even the youths faint and they become weary and the young men fall right so even in your strongest time in your life on a physical level these bodies still faint but wait see they that wait upon the Lord shall what renew their strength and it all go that way the scripture previously said the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. This flesh is weak on all levels. You understand? The Lord has yeah, the Lord is like take away with strength. You understand? The Lord take away our strength. Because if you was to really think about it, the governing body, right? The hundred and forty four thousand spirits that would they with Yahweh Shai creating, creating the universe and the galaxies and all these things. <laughs> if the Lord was to give these beings their power right now, what could Esau do? You understand? What could Esau do? What could the so-called white man do to even one of them? You understand? A being that had part in creating reality. What could Esau do? You understand? What could Esau do? What could anything on this planet do? To have power like that? You understand? To have force like that? But that will show you the Lord, the Lord bound, the Lord bound us and he took away that. You understand? And, and to show you the Lord tru truly is a wise and a, a, a power full of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That is how wonders test the strength in it. Your strength is tested in weakness in it. You understand? And you know it have a scripture on that, but I can't really get it right now. But 
your strength is tested in weakness right of acceptable men in the furnace of adversity hey so the lord take away all the, all the things from us and uh, take with that, that that powerful that powerful position he take with that, those powerful bodies you understand and give us these carnal weak corruptible bodies he take away all, all our thrones and gave it unto our enemies right and made us he put us at the very bottom you understand and in this state you understand in this weakened state will one be strengthened that's how muscles grow they are broken down and then rebuilt you understand so that's how we would grow by being broken down took everything away from us you understand you know and i'm so lucky you know i know this lesson all over the place you understand you know i just moving with the spirit the Romans chapter 8 verse 1 it said it said there is therefore no no condemnation to them which are in a mashiach yahushai who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit so it said there will be no condemnation to those that are in yahushai mashiach right because in yahweh yahushai dwell it you understand dwell it righteousness dwell it life dwell it light to let salvation immortality right and those that are walking in yahweh they walk after what the spirit so it goes hand in hand don't think that you could be some wicked ass nigga and walk after yahweh you understand those that would receive the mercy they would receive it because of their deeds you understand and when i say you know what salakia i would rephrase it Right? Those that walk in Yahushai, it would show that they walk in Yahushai because they will be walking after the Spirit. They will be bringing forth righteous fruit. Right? Not because of their deeds, because we know that um, none will be saved by works. It's all according to the, the tender mercies and love of our Lord Yahweh in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahushai. Right? But no condemnation to them. Right, because they would be pleasing our Bashem Yoshai, they would be begging for his mercy, and they would be doing everything to make that calling for election sure. Right? And then the Lord would not forget their labor of love. Right? And they would receive salvation. Right? They wouldn't be walking after the flesh. They wouldn't be concerned with the, the carnal things of this world. With the, the um the temporal things of this world. But they would be walking after the spirit. Uh, as Matthew, you know, I think it's chapter six. It's 20 or 21 to say for where your treasure is there will your heart also be our treasures are not in the world our treasures are in heaven our treasures come in so where do we look we look towards the Bashim Yahushai you understand we look towards the heavens from whence come our Lord that is where our heart is that is where our mind is where our spirit is verse 2 it says for the law of the spirit of life in Yahweh had made me free from the law of sin and death for what the law could not do that it was weak through the flesh Yahweh sin in his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh so you say what for what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh you understand so this 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 law you understand it's like a read of our history see for what the law could not do that it was weak through the flesh yahweh sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit so that's why yahweh shai did yahweh shai freed us from the law because the law was meant to be a blessing but because of us that are weak true flesh it became a curse you remember we read Deuteronomy 28 we know about the blessings of the law it would be that will make us a nation above all other nations that we would lend to them that we would be on top that we would be what we were meant to be gods rulers kings you understand Rep um 
representing our father Yahweh. You understand? That way it was intended to be, but it became on us. It became a curse to us because of the flesh. You understand? So what did Yahweh Shai do? What did Yahweh do? He sent forth his son Yahweh Shai to free us from that. To free us from death that we were bringing upon ourselves. Right? Being imperfect, trying to keep a perfect law. It saves us for that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. Right? So the, 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 the glory and the blessings of the law, the perf right? it might be fulfilled in us. Who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Right? In so that a that what the scripture said the Lord wouldn't forget our labor of love. So we would be rewarded for our righteous deeds. You understand? And we only have we will only be rewarded for these things through Yahweh, not through the works of the law. You understand? I and a lot of people they don't seem to understand that. We were freed from the law because, as I said before, we were the mistakes. We did not have the ability to keep it perfectly. You understand? We treated for what the law could not do and that it was weak through the flesh. The law could not give us um, eternal life. It couldn't give us the things that was promised because we couldn't keep up our side of the bargain you understand we couldn't keep the covenant so the things that was promised to us we couldn't receive it you understand but what did the most i do he created a way out he sent his only begotten son and he sent him in this carnal mortal flesh you understand and it's that why i say weep not the holy land of the tribe of judah i prevailed to lose the seals you understand yeah how wish i came on this earth and did the impossible he lived perfectly in sinful flesh you understand and became the ultimate sacrifice a lamb without blemish you understand verse 5 it says for they that are, are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit so what the scriptures not the scriptures so like, yeah, but a famous quote two wolves are within thy mind a good wolf and an evil wolf and their strength is all determined on which one you feed more so if you feed the flesh more then your flesh will overcome your spirit but if you feed the spirit more then your spirit will overcome your flesh second is just 757 this is the condition of the battle that man that is born upon the earth shall fight that if he that if he overcome that right that if he overcome he shall receive the thing that thou, that thou said. But if he be overcome, he shall receive the thing that I say. You know? You know, I'll bring it out instead of butchering it. The second is just 757. He said, then answered he me and said, This is the condition of the battle which man that is born upon the earth shall fight. That if he be overcome, he shall suffer as thou hast said. Right? So that if he be overcome, if he continues to mind the things of the flesh and he feeds the fleshly wolf he will suffer a painful end but if he get the victory if he overcome if he be one of those men that stood stiffly for the name of the lord he shall receive the thing that i say for this is the life where moses spake unto the people while he lives saying choose the life that thou mayest live what's the rock 19 and 19 say the knowledge of the commandments of the lord is a doctrine of life you understand so when the scripture was saying you know, that righteousness will be revealed in us and all these things is because true Yahweh Shai, we will be perfected. You understand? Now I'd say um thanks be to Yahweh that give it us give it us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. You know? Who death wears thy sting, right? And the, the strength um of of death is um Sin and the strength of sin is the law. But Yahweh Shai did what? He freed us from the law. And how is it that he freed us? He freed us from the curses of the law. 
by freeing us from our filthiness. You understand? By freeing us from our imperfections through Him. You understand? We will, we will, um, we won't fill. You understand? We won't hold. We were missing pieces, and He became the missing pieces to our puzzle. He made us whole. We were imperfect. You understand? With all Yahushai, we are imperfect, worthy unto death. But with Him, with Yahushai, through that sacrifice, we are made perfect. Hence the reason we, the Lord will and we have the elect, we will not be condemned. <laughs> you understand? We will not be condemned. And we will be justified. Right? Verse 6, For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Um... Because the carnal mind is enmity against Yahweh, for it is not subject to the law of Yahweh, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please Yahweh. You understand? It can't neither it can't be. Right? The carnal mind, this flesh is not subject to the law of the Mosa, it is subject to its own law, which is based upon what? Survival and pleasure and wickedness you understand and to be carnally minded to be mending the flesh to mind the flesh is to be an enemy of your bashim yoshai because to mind this flesh is to go against the law to go against these testimonies to go against the scriptures you understand because those that are in the flesh cannot please the most I why because to dwell in the flesh is to is to be to live contrary to the laws, statutes, and commandments that the Lord placed. You understand? But I see another law in my members. Right? Two wolves within thy mind. Will you feed the righteous wolf? Would you feed the spiritual wolf? Or will you give all your food? Would you give all your time and all your works? Unto the filthy wolf, unto the wicked, fleshly, carnal wolf. You understand? And what the scripture say, you will suffer. That if you if you be overcome, you will suffer. Son in famine and in sword. Right? So you know, it's a war between the flesh and the spirit. And we are dwelling within the spirit. So like okay, within this flesh, and son, we are in these chains, we are bound. But true, but within this weakened state, you understand, strength will be born. You understand? Strength will be born. Um, a podcast I has watched, you know, the, the the coach that has run the podcast, he's always say the most important rep is the repetition on the last working set so if you do three sets of five the most important rep would be your 15th rep right the fifth rep of the last set you know why it would be the most important because in that state that is your most weakened state the whole excess the whole workout you have already burned through all your storages you have already fatigue your body especially if you're lifting, lifting heavy you've already fatigued you know your, your neuromuscular system and when it's time for you to do that last rep now you are in a weakened state right you don't have the energy nor the strength to pull it but you had to find strength somewhere you understand you had to you had to use every ounce or whatever remaining strength you have left to raise it up off the ground and that that is what going on with us right now we have been stripped of the majority of our strength and they, they look at Thor what, what went on with Thor Odin took his hammer he took his strength you understand and he sent him where he sent him on earth you understand he took away all his godlike powers all his abilities okay you know if he had is a fan of Marvel, you would know that um, Thor's power doesn't come from the hammer, right? But he, he didn't took away all that from him. 
a cast him down on it and wind up taking place. The, the little string that he had left within himself, he used it. You understand? He used it and I was going on with us right now. And what went on with Toe, he received his hammer back. He received his strength. He was found worthy. And we would receive all the things that we had before. And even more than that. So continue to fight against this flesh. Continue to fight against this wicked wolf and fight against this kingdom. And not be overcome, but continue to hold strong. You understand? And endure to the end. Yeah, and with that, I truly, truly hope this lesson was edifying, giving all praises and glory unto the Most High. Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakudash, Shalom.